What heavily influenced me to make this mural was definitely BTS. They teach you to love yourself with the good and the bad, and I want to teach others what they taught me and bring it into my own way. I love painting, and that's like the style that I decided to do for like a lot of pieces in my portfolio. It was like a really big and cool like mural project, and I wanted to have that on my record, you know? I've always been inspired by other artists who've done murals like Diego Rivera. I think it's like great when your art is in public for everyone to see, not just in a museum. Uh, I come from Mexico, so there was a movement with muralists. For me, it's like a responsibility to really stick to my roots and like continue that tradition. My design, I decided to go with the idea of social media and how I like perceive it in my everyday life. I chose like animal rights. I feel like what I'm trying to do is, I guess, make a bit of a commentary about like Hollywood and like sort of like the soullessness of it. Basically, it's involving my heritage. I'm Italian, so it's like on the top there's a girl, and on the bottom there's a girl, and on top there's a girl um, like eating spaghetti at, off of like the other person's head. Two faces, uh, very well shaded, I guess. You know, very dramatically shaded, I would say, with a topographic map behind it. My design is of a rhino and an elephant and they have like their tusks and their horns taken off. Mine is like a portrait of a person but it's very abstract and it has different colors like they're like pinks and blues and they're really bright. My opinion on Lady Pink, I actually really like her work. I think the thing that I like the most about it is just how expressive it is. She uses her platform and her voice that she has to talk about ideas that matter to her. Her use of color, like she uses like a lot of like really bold and like bright colors. Lady Pink likes to use like her heritage and like her background like in a lot of her works. It's kind of exciting to know that someone who's like experienced is there to guide you and somebody who like knows what they're doing is here to help like young artists like us because we're really just learning the ropes of things in high school and once we get like an opportunity like this to step out of our comfort zone and step out of like small pieces of work to work on something large, it's a good opportunity. I go by the name of Lady Pink. I started writing graffiti around the middle school and, and getting into it. And then I fell in love with the adventure and the fun. Um, well, I've been painting large for a very long time, obviously. I've been uh, an artist for almost 40 years now and painting big murals and buildings. And it's a lot of fun to paint big. And I know that kids like to paint large. And I get an art education grant and I get to um, create my own project. My inspiration for working with kids is uh, nurturing young, talented um, people. Like when I was uh, 16 and 17 years old, I got opportunities to exhibit my work in galleries and travel the world with my art. And I like to give those kinds of opportunities to teenagers. I know the kind of talent that um, art school students have and with just a little bit of encouragement and nurturing and opportunities, you guys step right up to the plate and you do big, amazing, wonderful projects like I was able to do at that age when grown-ups took me seriously and gave me these opportunities. So it's kind of like paying it forward or just handing down my craft, my skill. We might be channeling dead artists for all I know, but inspiration comes from your life and your experiences and movies and books and music and video games and um, everything, everything. It turns up in your head and then you cough up your own version of it. So it's a matter of some good training and a lot of practice and figuring out how do you get inspiration going. You bang your head into a, uh, um, a sketch pad for a little while, maybe you cry for a bit and then inspiration will come at you. I try to tell a story with each of my pieces and I'm not there to explain it to the viewers and to the audience what this piece is about. I just have a title and that's the only clue. But sometimes it isn't all that important if the um, audience actually gets it and understands it. What's important is that I need to create it. I need to get it out there. I need to say something. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, oh well.